Hello everyone, it's the Yorkshire Gardener here. Today we're going to be showing you about potting up strawberry plants uh, and making use of recycling containers so that you can grow your own strawberries from the runners which will have come off the other plants that you may have in your garden. So let's show you how we're going to pot up the runners today. So for this job I've been saving up my milk cartons I've got about 12 of them, so make sure they're washed out and clean as you don't want them smelling. But yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with them. So first off, you obviously need to take the label off. Because you don't need the label on it. Then what we're going to do, we are going to cut across it like that just up there so this will make our container be careful when you're using scissors obviously don't let children do this so then it will look like that Let's continue and do the rest. So once you've done them, they all look like that. The next job is to put some drainage holes in and some holes to hang them. So let's get on with that. So the next job is to put the drainage holes in. Obviously you want some in the bottom so that the water drains through and they don't get waterlogged. So, again, being careful. So next up, we need to get some drainage holes in them. So we want to put them in the bottom so that the water doesn't waterlog the strawberry plants. So, again, being careful and not letting children do this. So now we've got those four drainage holes in the bottom, just like that. And then you'll need to put some holes in to hang it on the wall because the plan is to fasten them to the shed so that the strawberry plants will droop over and hang off them. As some people say they're better to hang them up and then at least the strawberry plants can hang and this will start that way. So it's best to put your holes in first. And then you're not messing with them once filled. So just like that. Nice and good. So let's get the rest done. So I've put the drainage holes in and the holes to hang them on. So now it's time to put the strawberries in. So first off, you need to get some Soil or compost. The soil might be best because it'll hold the water. Compost dries out pretty fast, but either one, it'll be fine. So those are all filled with soil. I've used compost, so I have to keep them watered every softer, but that should be fine because I'm down here quite a bit. So now to get the runners to put in them. So these are my strawberries from last year. As you can see, they're dying off, but they're still quite healthy. So, what you're looking for are these. These are the runners on a strawberry. And the runner that you should use is the nearest one to the plant, because that's the most healthiest. So, all we have to do is cut that off. As you can see, it's got nice roots on it. So, let's get this in. So, all you want to do is just cut off. You can cut it off at the main plant, the plant don't need it so all you need to do is just chop off these runners just like that so 
and there you have the strawberry plant ready to plant up so we just need a couple more so let's have a look around so here's another one a nice small strawberry plant obviously you won't necessarily get strawberries on them in the first year um, probably in the second year you might just get a couple but don't worry next year you will have a fantastic amount so here's the next one a nice big one just chop that off just like that then all you do is just chop off these dead leaves and that will be nice to plant just like that so that one doesn't need any chopping off that one just has a couple of that just like that i'll leave that one on just for the time being so let's get them potted up so next up all you do is just get your tub with your compost or your soil in and you just pop your strawberry plant in make sure that the roots are firmly in the soil's pushed around it so that it takes root and there we go there's your strawberry plant don't worry that it's only small it will grow i can assure you of that if you look after it just pop the next one in just like that there we go that's that one in the next one in and that one's in so yeah we have all three in now so that's what they'll look like once they're done and nice and easy just like that so all we've got to do is just finish them off and then jobs are good in so all I'm doing is putting them in a frost free place just over winter until probably February, March till I plant them out. So we'll leave them there and keep them watered. So I hope that video has been useful for you and you can use it yourself. Let me know if you're gonna try it at home and see if, if you grow some yourself. Uh, again, like I said, if you put your strawberries on in them pots and hang them up, the strawberries will overlap the pot so then the slugs won't get them because off the ground uh the birds might tend to get them but if you keep them protected you should be okay but yeah let me know if you try it at home and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay up to date with what i post thanks for watching